Whatever you want to say, just know that I love you. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. <laughs> Yes, it will be very easy to, uh... I got the cut-up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and to keep it here. Act like... Well, okay. Good for you. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> exactly. So much for a quiet vacation. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee <laughs> under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Uh, now done. that's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Died and gone to hell. Cannot open this door that opens both ways. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. You don't want to die, do you? Worse. I warned Carl Stucky about it, but he didn't listen. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Okay. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Hmm. Thanks. Not creepy at all. It kind of surprised me that she was still there. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. After that cutscene, I figured she'd just disappear. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? Splendid, splendid! Damn hunger! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you and that the Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Uh, I thought they were, uh, motorcycle okay. You don't have anything to say to me? Okay. There we go. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! This is Wake! Your... Hmm. Your keys! 
Something happened to him. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Padman here on PBFF. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Would definitely be a cool place to stay. Sure. Except for getting your luggage down there. It would not be so fun. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure Gross. we were inside with the lights on before Always sunset. Always good Except, you know, not. And they are everywhere. shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd <laughs> never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry return oh. damn <laughs> I needed to get the power running in the cabin there had to be a fuse Spin. box or a generator somewhere on the island The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. The 70s is not before the 60s. Just an FYI for all of you. to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. But we'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Call her. You're on. The power cable goes to that shed over there. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. It was a beautiful place. 
I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. I'm sure your wife's like trying to divorce you or something. Life could be worse, Alan. Alice? Honey? Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice! You- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Damn it. Alice? Cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. All right, so something's going on with my wife. This is not good. What the hell? Uh. Great crows are attacking me. Fantastic. So I apologize in advance if all this video and audio stuff sucks because my audio recorder for the commentary just decided to stop working. So while my video is still recording, but hopefully we can get things figured out. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Great idea. 